What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Surreal? What's up? Whatever you are watching me from, bro. Bro, I'm I'm back again. You get me? I'm back and I'm back and I'm back. I wasn't feeling too good. Trying to recover from all this, you know, stress and all that. So let's let's do this. So for the past few days, we have been going back and forth with this other GP. I'm sorry I wasn't able to update some of you guys. Okay, based on uh, the the comments of uh, some of them inside, right? Because most of the things that we were doing was actually affecting them. You get me? So today we have a message, okay, from the judiciary of Sierra Leone. So according to uh, the magistrate Mac Ingba. Ingba, some I don't know if that is your Ingba, if that is how you pronounce it. Okay, they made a statement about the 12 others. Let me tell you guys, right? Some of you guys have not seen it, but I'll read it. But let me say this before I read this thing. Sometimes we just need to accept this page, sometimes we just need to uh, let the fact be it, right? I saw an article saying that the brother man that was involved in this and this particular thing okay he, his face had a deformation you get me like he was born like that his face was like that he was born like that so i don't know how true is it but if you look closely at the picture okay you could tell that there's something fishy okay is either he was born that way or he was beaten up. So we yet to get more details about that brother, even though he had said his own path. But when it comes to the law itself, brother man, they have not said anything sensible. And the only thing I would say for certain, for certain concerning LJ, is they just need to let the brother man go, bro. And for the rest, the others that have been sentenced, bro, we, we need to know this, bro. That Sierra Leone, in as much as some of you guys, you don't find it comfortable, right? There is still law in the country. There is still law in the country. So don't expect to be lawless and you think that the law will not, will not grab you. Okay, you need to stay focused. Some of those brothers, they went to a protest. Some of them did it peacefully. But unfortunately, others decided to uh, be on the lawless side of you, right? And they, they were all trapped up in this back and forth with the police officers and all that, like serious back and forth. And unfortunately, some of those brother man we are arrested which we are not actually involved in the riot and all that now the case has been twisted on them in such a way that this is what the magistrate stated the the count charges for those brothers okay so the actually for some of you i made a post like a few hours ago on facebook saying that uh, most of them have been arrested for 18 months and you are confused if it's 36 So don't get it twisted For the first time in prison might be 18 months, okay, which is the 36 might be 18 But those who have been there like in and out will definitely enjoy this 38 this 36 So this is what the judiciary of Sierra Leone stated. He said Magistrate Mike Kimber of uh, Pademba Road Court number 2 as today's sentence 11 accused persons to 36 months imprisonment each okay they were charged with two counts of riot conduct and disorderly behavior at the OSD headquarters hmm. accused persons riot and behaved in a disorderly manner so this is exactly why they got uh, sentenced, okay? I have no evidence of 
them not involving in riot but bro there's this brother man which is Don Creek. I don't know the rest how they got involved, right? But Don Creek was not actually part of the people who were involved in the riot. He was not part of but his wife is, right? And now they all suffering the same penalties. Is that actually fair? Now, if the law is taking course, is that actually fair? And Ishmael, they went there peacefully to see their mind and they got arrested too. Let's speak the spade. If the law is working, let it work well. Let it just serve for everyone. But what I would say is this, right? I saw a video, I posted that video about you guys protesting at the embassy in US, bro. For me, I felt like the way you guys are protesting doesn't make any sense. I watched the first video, I was mad as hell. Simply because some of you guys can control your emotions to allow the world to know what is going on, to allow the world to know that this leaders, if they are sensible enough to know that they need to rectify things or they just want to continue to dwell in the injustice manner, right? Now, this the, the ambassador was not able to come out. A brother man came out, right? Which I was expecting some of you guys to listen to his nonsense and pick out the sense from it. And some of us who have a media, okay, a way to see our mind, to elaborate more on his own statement so they can, so all of us will know whether or not these people really have us in mind. But everybody was just going back and forth saying things that were not actually edible. You get, and at the end of the day, you guys were not able to be connected perfectly. Which I, I'm, I'm expecting some of you guys, even in, in as much as we are at this particular stage where we need the justice. But if we have people at the top and they are ready to talk to us, please, if you guys are going there again, listen to them. Take a video. Post it so we see it. We don't need you guys to argue back and forth. That argument will not help anything. Listen from them, if the nonsense they are saying is not appreciated by you people, we will help on it. Then you tell them your own mind, but not when he's saying and you guys are saying, you saying you guys like, it wasn't open. That communication was not open. And at the end, he went inside and what else? You guys just left with no beneficiary result. And I saw that you guys went there again. Like, for me, I know definitely, definitely, LJ needs justice. And all the individuals who have been sentenced to, a, like, 36 months in prison, like, bro, we need to look into this. People who are actually the offenders or the committers of this particular riot and misconduct or misorderly manner, they need to serve it, which is fact. They need to serve it. And those who are not involved, let them go. Let them go. For me, this is all I have to say. I don't know if it might be comfortable with you or not, but that is exactly what I have to say. You get me? And I promise you guys to start dropping video back and forth. Peace out. Watch out for more updates.